Good morning. Linnea is very, very, very. <laughs> Linnea is thrilled because she has a donut this morning. This girl went to bed at mm, like 10.30 last night. No, 33. 33? 10.33? Mm -hmm. And so she woke up very late this morning and was so late that she didn't get to have breakfast at home, so I took her to the bakery after we brought Calum to school. So it's a normal Monday. I've got a little bit to update you guys on, just a lot sitting on the brain. So hopefully I get some time to just sort of let a lot out later. <laughs> All right, I decided to take a bike ride with the kids. And with and with Charlie, that's right. Charlie's with us. Baby yep. And I wanted to show you guys we're kind of far. <laughs> um, we ended up coming to this area, and I just wanted to show you guys the, I guess, Soviet era housing blocks. And they've done um, like renovations and stuff. So, like you can see, you can see right there they have a flower on the wall, and you know. Rather than tearing stuff down, they've just sort of re, they used what they had. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit where we are at the moment. I don't know if I've really ever shown this before. So we're gonna keep going. It's just a particular style of architecture that's reminiscent of the times. are back home and um, Elliot's just taking a little nap here in my lap and the weather is so gross outside. We're gonna have to leave in a little bit to go pick up Callum from school and get Linnea to dance class. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, do you know where your dance bag is? She's reading books and stuff. I want to know, I really want to know from people who live in Germany or really especially people that live here in Berlin, where do you find properties? Like, where are they? There's really nothing. There's nothing on the market within like a five kilometer radius that is large enough and suitable enough for our family. Um, and not even just that, there's nothing period. There's nothing, not even small flats um, that obviously we couldn't move into anyways. We are trying to keep Callum in the school not have to move him. Um, we'd like to keep Linnea in her kindergarten. Um, we'd like to settle in this area. We generally like it. We feel comfortable here. Our doctor's here. The kids' doctors are here. Dentists are here. Obviously, schools are here. We know the, you know, we, we're kind of trying to start making friends and trying to just be somewhere and settle somewhere. So we would like to live in this general area. So I'd like to know, we look at Immobilien Scout, we look at Immovelt, any other places that people can recommend, um, that would be really helpful. Like, what is the process here? Because obviously I know how things are in the US and there's so much more available. There's not a shortage of houses for sale, that's for darn sure. So having such a shortage of homes is, um, it's new to me. It's also a bit scary to me because I know that we have three kids that are only getting bigger, their stuff is getting bigger, the amount of time and privacy and alone space that they all require is going to become greater. And I know how, how cramped it feels already with all of their stuff. Um, so it's, it's, it, it makes me feel very nervous and overwhelmed and, I would love nothing more than to give Callum his own room and Linnea her own space and to be able to let them just be without having to constantly be aware of their other siblings in their room and just 
it's been challenging. It is challenging. And it's, you know, I, I know, and I know, I know that this is not the biggest problem in the world. And I also know that people live in much more cramped situations than, than this. I know that. We're also very lucky that we have the garden, that we have a lot of freedom and green space that kids can get out and ride bicycles. And we're not directly in the city center where we're all struggling um, and competing for space with all the other people that live in the area. So we're very lucky that we have a relatively quiet, private place in terms of our apartment and where we're located in Berlin. But for us as a family, this is not working anymore. We also don't have space for visitors. Um, when my mom was here, my mom slept on an air mattress in the kids' room. Otherwise, she would have slept in here in the living room. What we have done in the past is when we have guests, we give our guests the kids' room and then the kids stay with us in our room. But we can't do that because um, Elliot co-sleeps. It's just hard. We just need more space. We just need more space. We're a family of five and we're in a, a two-bedroom apartment. And um, very fortunate, very thankful for this apartment. But even when we moved in here last year, Roman and I knew that this wasn't going to be permanent. Like we knew that this was a stepping stone apartment. It got us here into the city. It got us settled. Uh, and we knew that once we were here, we would begin looking for something more permanent. It just feels more of a rush now that we have Elliot, who's also getting bigger, who requires space. And I am just tired of having to clean up and remind kids to clean up things like Legos and little Playmobil pieces and all this stuff that's super dangerous for um, a four month old baby that is gonna start crawling soon. And it's just, everybody just needs their own space. Any help in the house finding department, um, that would be really, I, I'd be so grateful because we're just, we're struggling over here. We have not found anything, so. Any help would be much appreciated.